Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, first, I would like to say thank you to Ichesta for giving me this opportunity to present my research in Lyon battery topics. And I also would like to say thank you to all my fellow authors, Mr. Dimas Zuda, Mr. Anif Jamaluddin, Ms. Mrs. Endah Retno Tiartandi, Mrs. Hema S. Agustina, and Professor Muhammad Nizam. Okay, my name is Muhammad Farel Aksya, and today my research title is The State of Charge Estimation of Lithium Ferrophosphate Phosphate Batteries Performance with ANN Model. Okay, without further ado, let me take you to the first section of my presentation. Introduction As we know, the world is going forward, especially in technology sector. The search for renewable energy is conducted in order to reduce the need for fossil fuel energy. Li-ion batteries have become one of the main choices and start or have been applied to larger needs such as electric vehicles. Application on electric vehicles always face a lot of challenges. Electric vehicles need a higher energy, so Li-ion batteries need to be informed of pack and battery pack needs to be monitored correctly and accurately. Monitoring is, is caused each cell in the pack have different properties such as its such as its voltage and its capacity. Usually, the monitoring is conducted using BMS or battery management system. The use of BMS can give a more safety and more efficient on battery pack performance by controlling its charge and discharge process so overcharge or over discharge won't happen. To prevent this overcharge or over discharge, we have to monitor one of the battery main uh, important properties. It's called state of charge or SOC. For who don't familiar with SOC, SOC sim can be defined as the ratio of remaining capacity to its nominal capacity inside a battery cell. To calculate or measure SOC, we cannot use direct measurement. We cannot use direct measurement but we have to use indirect measurement by battery voltage and current. One of the methods to calculate or measure SOG is using column counting method. Column counting method measure SOG by measuring the flow of current in and current out of battery and integrated by times. Besides its easy and simplicity, this method has weaknesses such as, such as accumulation of error for each charge discharge process. Now, to improve uh, SOC estimation on battery management system, we can use ANN or artificial neural network. ANN can help can be used to help SOC estimation algorithm on PMS to predict the realest SOC value. SOC value. ANN is one of the most popular machine learning model, which provides self-learning and quick adaptation. ANN selected as the method to predict SOC because of its characteristic that can show complex relationship of its input and outputs. One of the research that has been done shows that ANN, more correct, NN, or more correctly FFNN, or Field Forward Neural Network, gives a very strong simulation performance applied on lithium polymer batteries to, SHMA, to estimate OCG value. So in this research, we try to use ANN to predict SOC value on lithium ferrum phosphate battery, so it can improve to so it can be improved to help the MS algorithm in order to prevent unwanted events such as over discharge or overcharge. Okay, the next session is materials and methods. Uh, the materials are more correctly the a sample of this research is a lithium ferrum phosphate battery. Lithium ferrum phosphate battery with capacity around 3,600 mAh. We use this cell to conduct a charge discharge test. The tests are conducted with the help of newer battery tester. These tests, this hardware, are connected with computer that has an additional program to monitor and record all the charge discharge process data. For the software of the programming language, we use the Python programming language. 
The Python programming language are you, is used to build the NN and perform the test of the NN. For the detail of the step we conducted or the method we conducted, here's for the chart we started. We use a C rate variation, which is half of 0.5C, 1C, and 6000 milliampere. Each we use 6000 milliampere because of the hardware limitation, which on which can only provide current up to 6000 milliampere. For the rest of the step, we use five minutes long, and then the sample cycle of each C rate is five cycle. We use the variation of uh, C rate to see how batteries performance in each value of C rate. Okay. Next, we use to end modeling. First, we use outlier removal to decrease variability and fix the mean performance. A small outlier data can distort the whole result. The outlier removal is is conducted using the box plot method. For the building model, we use the logistic function. Three inputs for the, our ANN is voltage, current, and cycle ID. The cycle ID is included in order to give a relationship of each cycle uh, process. The output is, on, is only one layer. It's the SOC or, SOC or predicted SOC. For the hidden layers, we use uh, three hidden layers. 16 in the first hidden layer, 8 in the second hidden layer, and 4 in the third hidden layer. Okay, so we, uh, we go to the main section, is the results and discussion. This, first I would like to show you our chart to start test results. This we, in the screen, I show two different graphs. The, the right one or the left on your left is for charge and the right is for discharge. As we can see, there are different curves for different series. In charge progress, the higher series gives a higher flat voltage curve. It can be seen around 3.4 to 3.5 volt. It means that high series gives a more drastic change of voltage when near zero. In discharge process, it it also happened, only it's lower because discharge is a process where current flow out in the and in discharge the higher C rate give a lower give a lower flat voltage range around 3 to 3.1. The process also conducted for five cycle. We can see that the same rate for five cycle will make the curve move down because of voltage drop and after constantly use. From this result, we we achieve capacity or SLC voltage curve which can be assumed that higher C rate gives more capacity loss. This characteristic of capacity loss hopefully can be learned by NN to give not only accurate SOJ value, but also cycle effects on battery performance. Next, we have the ANN training result. After we obtain the charge discharge result, we try to train the ANN with target SOJ, which we already calculated manually using column counting. The training results are evaluated using loss and mean square error. We can see the results on the graph I've shown in the screen. This, the MSA and loss both are decreasing in the increase of epochs. Only in the increase of epochs, after 500 epochs, the graph experienced a drastic decrease and became more stable. The value became very stable until it reached 1,400. It means that our ANN has reached has reached its maximum performance. The final MSA and loss value is 0 0.085, and for MSA, 2.1085 times 10 power min negative 4. Okay. Yeah. We yeah. are. So we get after we train our IN, we try to we try to test our IN and result. And this is the output of our IN and result. The left graph 
or the left slot is for the actual SOC or SOC voltage uh, curve and the right is for the predicted or the ANN output. The ANN output gives a similar result as the actual SOC. We can see that both of them show similar value and fit SOC characteristic from 0 to 100. It's also shown a voltage drop or capacity loss after some cycle, which can be seen on the graph here. We can see that there is some capacity loss or voltage drop after use. This result shows that our ANN can learn and adapt the effect of cycle on battery. The inputs of voltage and current can be used to measure SOC correctly. The conclusion of our research is the model ANN gives proper results for SOC estimation, SOC estimation with its value similar to targeted SOC calculated with column counting. The training process with charging discharging data gave a lower number of losses. The testing results show a good relationship characteristic of estimated SOC with voltage on ANN with inputs of voltage and current. This proper performance of ANN is obtained by finding the best number of hidden layer and neurons. This is all the reference I use for this research. Maybe I can skip this one. Okay, thank you very much everyone. That's the end of my presentation. I hope we all can take a good lesson from my presentation. And I also want to apologize if there are any word on my behalf that are unpleasing to you all. Thanks for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.